Hello everyone, thank you for watching, I am Joey, and welcome to my first uh, game picks pickup video, so oh my god, I can't speak, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought I'd do something like this because I'm still trying to figure out what, it come, what I kind of want my channel to be, like, because I was thinking of using this channel to do, um, like, gameplay videos or whatever, but I think I'll just focus this channel mainly on videos like this when I pick up new games. Well, new. <laughs> because, obviously, retro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I'll stick with that or do videos about, like, you know, um, games I think people should check out or wherever. But, yeah, and leave kind of gameplay videos just to streaming because, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. So, just so you know. Anyways, this uh, pickups video is kind of games that I was able to get through uh, Boxing Day. You know, a lot of great deals, quite a few games that I've been looking a long time for, so quite happy to have them now. As, uh, yeah, let's start. I think I will start, uh, yeah, let's start with kind of newest systems and go backwards. So for PS4, the first game kind of god that I want to talk about is called Dusk Diver. <laughs> this is a really interesting game, uh, and yeah, this, like, day one edition, yeah, I'm, this was so cheap and it looked really interesting, so I picked it up, um, comes with an art book, like, some pins, some, yeah, and of course the game, and game's really fun, it's, um, its art style is very, similar to like gravity rush um and the way the game plays is more action <laughs> you know something like dynasty warriors but it's very stylized really cool um interesting um like it's all voice in japanese with english text um yeah like i was pleasantly surprised by this game so yeah i quite enjoy it all right next game uh, Captain Subasa Rise of Champions. <laughs> I know I'm pronouncing that so wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, well, this was on my radar for a while just because I really like arcadey sports titles and all that. So, thought I'd check this out since, again, big sale on it. And it's alright. Um, the soccer parts are pretty fun, but, yeah, I... <laughs> For me, there's just too much dialogue and story going on where I'm like, I don't, I'm not quite invested or anything. Um, still, it, you know, I haven't played too much, so I want to give it more of a chance. Just right now, I find it more just an okay game. <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, Metal Magzino. I actually haven't played this yet so i'm not sure exactly what this game's about um but just from my software reviews and all that seemed pretty cool like <laughs> back <laughs> as yeah i don't know too much i think it's kind of like action rpg or some sort of mech game i'm i'm actually <laughs> not sure um but again very cheap so yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. And last PS4 game I got is called Big Pharma, which, as you can see, Peggy. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a PAL game. Um, you can buy it digitally. I'm not sure about physical release, though. Like, luckily, PS4 is uh, region-free, so it doesn't really matter. As It's a pretty interesting game. It's um simulation where you're basically just trying to cure a bunch of diseases while making money in the process so yeah it's uh one of those or yeah you're it <laughs> it's, yeah kind of simulation something like say uh project hospital was that what it was called or i can't remember now but um yeah i haven't played too much because there's just so much to remember on this game and but I'm kind of glad I got it because, yeah, very interesting and, again, cheap. Uh, next up, 
for the GameCube. I've been looking for Time Splitters 2 for a long time, and I'm so glad I finally was able to get it. Love this series. Wish they would bring more, <laughs> but oh well. <laughs> and it is what it is, and at least get to enjoy this now. You know, the, my only experience was playing all these games at a friend's house years and years ago, so so happy that I was finally able to track it down for a really nice price. Uh, yeah, let's start with PlayStation 2. So, first up, Tales of the Abyss. Uh, I love the Tales series a lot, and yeah, there's... But I kind of got into the series very late. So like, my first real experience with this series was uh, Tales of Vesperia on the 360. So, yeah, I haven't really played too many ones of previous generations. Uh, so, yeah, finally got this. Excited to try this out. I also have Tales of Legendia on PS2, um, but I bought that a long time ago. Uh... So yeah, really excited to check this out because heard this is a pretty good Tales game. Actually, I don't think I played a Tales game that I did not like, even the ones that a lot of people didn't like. I quite enjoyed like Tales of Graces F. That one's actually one of my favorites, and I know a lot of people don't like that one, but oh well. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, Oni. <laughs> I really wanted to try this game because, you know, this was Bungie before Halo, so <laughs> it it's just cool. Like, I expect it probably doesn't play too good. It's also kind of interesting, like, Rockstar published it, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. And, yeah, kind of interested to check this out. <laughs> uh, next up was, yeah, another just... Random buy because it looked cool and it was Metropolis Mania by Natsumi, so Harvest Moon people and basically a uh, city builder simulation, uh, Sim City or City Skylines like. So <laughs> yeah, but just when I saw the cover, I'm like, oh, that's probably a game I would actually quite enjoy. So <laughs> yeah. Quite happy I was able to get that for cheap. And now, two games that I'm so happy I got and caught such a good deal on. Wild Arms 4 and 5. Now, the fifth one, unfortunately, doesn't have the manual. That was a little bit of a bummer. But for paying, I think, 20 bucks maybe for this because of all the sales and all that. Like, I'll take it. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's so hard to find. And same with Wild Arms 4. Um, you know, these are pretty expensive. But, man, I got such good deals. I'm so happy that I got these. Because love this series. It's too bad it ended. <laughs> but, yeah, great role-playing series. Especially considering back then, like, when it first started, there weren't too many Western-themed video games. You know, not too many, like, cowboys or <laughs> whatever. And didn't really get popular at all until Red Dead came along, right? So, yeah, really happy I have these. Now, we'll finish things off with my Wii games that I got. So, first game, Deadly Creatures. Uh, <laughs> I played this game a long time ago at a friend's house and loved it. Like, it's so bizarre, but... It's really well made. Basically, you're just controlling a bunch of different insects like spiders, scorpions, whatever, and you're battling other creatures like snakes and all that. It's so bizarre. It, it almost plays like a fighting game like Mortal Kombat or something. It's so weird, but man, it's it's really well polished. You know, it shouldn't be as good as it is. <laughs> uh, next up... Dragon Quest Swords. I do like the Dragon Quest series. This one, unfortunately, I mean, I'll try to play a bit more, but it's just a little weird for me. Um, <laughs> because everything's 
like you're in first person all the time it almost plays somewhat like a dungeon crawler but you have free reign of how you move and all that uh <laughs> like the battles themselves are pretty interesting just because you know you're using the wii remote to slash or block or whatever so parts of it are okay but it's also weird because it only uses the Wiimote. You don't use the nunchuck at all. So to move, you use the D-pad on Wii Remote. And it's just, it's a little weird. So I'll try a bit more, but yeah, I'm not too sure about this. But again, cheap and I like Dragon Quest. Then the final game, which I'm so <laughs> happy I got for a really nice price is The Last Story Limited Edition. Uh, <laughs> Really, this is such a good game, and yeah, like soundtrack, art book, which, yeah, still sealed. I still have this all sealed up, which I can't believe I got that, <laughs> though it has the EB Games new sticker on it that I haven't removed, but yeah, and really nice art book. I don't want to move too much because, yeah. But, oh, this has been on my radar for so long, so, and what a great game. It reminds me so much of Final Fantasy XII, the way the characters talk, the scenery, everything, and that game was really great, so, yeah, and this game's excellent. <laughs> so, that is it for my first uh, game pickups video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more, let me know. Even if you don't say anything, <laughs> I'll probably do more because this is very enjoyable for me. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully next time I'll actually do my hair proper. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.